had an accident riding bikes one year and a half ago and I broke my back. There's not a, like a specific treatment for getting better with spinal cord injury, but I had been doing a lot of research and I found that the stem cells are one of the best things that you can have with, with spinal cord injury. I had been feeling uh, some changes for sure, especially in my left leg, new sensations in, in, in my foot. In the past, I didn't feel anything. And now when the physio team is putting uh, the electric stimulation over my feet, or over my foot, I feel the electricity running through my leg and that's something that I didn't feel before. I'm able to feel uh, the weather a little bit more because mm -hmm. in the past I couldn't feel uh, or heat or cold and now I'm, I'm feeling the sensation when my, my left leg especially but a little bit the right one too, it's mm -hmm. cold. I feel the sensation of, of, of cold. If I have the chance to come again I will do it for sure because mm -hmm. I found something really special here. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, how are pleasure, you? Pleasure to see you here in our uh, testimonial. Can you please introduce yourself for the world and uh, tell us what brought you to Swiss Medica? Okay, my name is Juan Pedro Arellano. Uh, I'm a professional mountain biker. I had an accident riding bikes one year and a half ago and I broke my back. So yeah, I, uh, I had been doing a lot of research and things with a lot of centers that maybe are near to my country, but I, I found that maybe this one, this was the one for me. So, yeah. For you. Can we, uh, can you share some part of your diagnosis with us? Uh, can you tell us how did the spinal cord injury affected your life? Uh, what kind of limitation it imposed on your daily tasks and uh, in general about the things that you find more difficult to do now. Okay, my spinal cord injury was at the height of T12, something like this, and it was a complete, so my, my spinal cord supposedly ripped away weight completely, so it's supposedly a really difficult injury to recover. Mm -hmm. But since the beginning, my main goal was to become self-sufficient completely, and I, I tried to do it like really fast, and the most difficult thing for me right now is riding bikes again. Mm -hmm. That haven't been possible at the moment and hiking mountains, but mm -hmm. everything else I managed to wait for doing it uh, for sure in a different way. But, but I, I, I try to find a way. Um, yeah, the difficult thing for me is to get back on, on some things that I used to, to do a lot and I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, can I ask, uh, did you discuss the idea of stem cell therapy with your doctor back home? No, we don't discuss that. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't ask them for yeah. the opinion. I, I found it in, in other ways, in other uh -huh. paths. And yeah. you, you mentioned the research of the stem cells. Yeah. What did you read? What what you seen about stem cells that motivated you okay. to give it a try? For a spinal cord injury, there's no... There's not a, like a, a specific treatment for... for for getting better with spinal cord injury, but I had been doing a lot of research and I found that the stem cells are one of the best things that you can have with, with spinal cord injury. And I had been searching a lot of cases of people with similar, um, similar problems and they had a, a really good improvement with the stem cells. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I really want to try it. Great. And, um did you have any kind of fears or maybe doubts for trying stem cell therapy? No, not Anything at all. Anything was pulling you off? No, for me it was really good. You know, if I can get a little bit better, for me that's huge. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping the best and no, no, no fears. Okay. Uh, Juan Pedro, you've been already three weeks with us. Uh, can I ask, did you feel any any change, even the slightest change uh, after the... Yeah, I had been feeling uh, some changes for sure. I think it's too too soon to mm -hmm. feel the changes with the stem cells. I think that take a little bit more, but I had been feeling, especially in my left leg, new sensations in, in, in my foot. Mm -hmm. In the past, I didn't feel anything. And now when the physio team is putting uh, the electric stimulation over my feet, or over my foot, I feel the electricity running through my leg and that's something that I didn't feel before. The other thing that I felt in this in this time is like now I'm I'm able to feel uh, the weather a little bit more because mm -hmm. in the past I couldn't feel uh, or heat or cold and now I'm, I'm feeling 
the sensation when my my left leg especially but a little bit the right one too it's mm -hmm. cold i mm -hmm. feel the sensation of of, of cold and th that's really good mm -hmm. and yeah since since my accident happened i had been improving and improving step by step little by little and i had been seeing the same improvement that i have but like more uh, with mm -hmm. potentiated in a mm -hmm. way and yesterday we realized something really good in my right leg because my right leg is one of is a little bit more um, affected. affected yeah it's, it's not going forward as my as my left leg but yesterday we realized that i can do a kick with my with my right one and we were doing that today and it's still there and i'm having more control so for sure i had been feeling a lot of improvements i think from stem cells and from the physical therapy too. The team mm -hmm. here is really, really nice and they put a lot of effort and time in helping you. So I feel that I have some improvements and I know I'm gonna have more. Uh, that, those are wonderful news and we all stay up to, we need, all need to stay optimistic. Uh, can you tell us um, what are your expectations for the post-treatment? What are you hoping? Uh... Okay, like uh, I know I'm gonna get better and that's my, my thing, if I can get a little bit better, for me it's amazing and I know it's gonna be like that. So I hope uh, my legs are gonna be more awake little by little and I feel it now, so I think it's gonna go farther. Uh, if I have the chance to come again, I will do it for sure because mm -hmm. I found something really special here. When I was doing my research, I, I'm from South America, Colombia, and I have a few uh, stem cell centers that are more near to my place we have one in Colombia, another in Panama, another in Mexico, but I was doing this research in, in, in other places and I found that uh, what I feel is that in other places it's like take your injection and go and it was like that. And here my, the compass of my heart take me to this place and I think it was a really good decision because here everyone takes the time, everyone is super nice with me. Uh, the attention was incredible. It's not just like the treatment and that's all. It's a whole process that is behind the scenes happening. Everyone is super, super kind since the, the physio team, the, the nurses, the medics, the, the cleaning staff, the, the receptions, the administration, administration. So I feel that I, I get to the right place and I'm super happy with my decision and yeah. No regrets at all. We really appreciate those kind words. Really, 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 mm -hmm. truly appreciate those kind words. Um, we tried to do everything diligently and uh, working with you was, was amazing. For, mm -hmm. the, for one of the last questions uh, I would like to ask, uh, for people having same, um, same diagnosis as you, for people that suffered uh, similar injuries, would you have any kind of advice or an insight that you yeah, want I to share? Yeah, I think yes. Uh, at, at the beginning, the doctor said to me not so hopeful things like mm, your, your injury was too bad, so maybe you're not going to have any kind of recovery. But I always stay strong in my mind and I'm always trying to, to push in, in, to follow my dreams in the direction that I, I, I think that I can be. So I think that being optimistic is really, really important in this case. Uh, for sure, no one can tell you that you're going to be fine or you're going to have a hundred percent of, of, of healing, but I think it's really good to keep your mind in that, in, in, in a positive way. And other thing to me that I think is, had been really helpful is to be active all, all as I can, to try to, to be self-sufficient, to try to do my things, to, 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 to move, do my transfer by my own and try to overcome all of the difficult things that uh, spinal cord injury had you know mm -hmm. and and I had been having a lot of improvement so I think that positive way of thinking is is leading me to a to a good place I really hope to see you again at least for a checkup you, for sure mm -hmm. at least for a free checkup to see you in half a year and uh, how everything progressed with high hopes and finger crossed for you man thank you very much and that will be amazing I'm gonna for sure try to be here and no, no much to say that thank you, thanks with Medica, thanks for everything, thanks uh, all the team, it was amazing for me. I'm really sad, a little bit sad for going because for me it was an incredible experience to be here and I will recommend this to everyone because it's, it's amazing. Thanks.